This is MYP3 Unit 2, Chapter 8. It's called Number Sequences, and it's all about finding a rule for a pattern of numbers. So I've written, consider the following pattern, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. So you can see that the numbers go up by a fixed amount every time, which is 3. So you can show the pattern in a table. I've got a table that goes uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've called those numbers N. And then the numbers in the sequence itself are the nth term. So the first term is 5, the second term is 8, the third term is 11, and so on. So I've got n and nth term. So you can see that you obtain each number by adding 3 to the previous one. Um, but what if you want to know the 1,000th number? You don't want to have to work out the previous 999 numbers. So it would be good to have a rule that gets you from the n number, the position in the sequence, in, uh, to the actual nth term, the number in the sequence. So there are clues in the table. Every time the n goes up by 1, the nth term the number in the sequence is going up by 3. So that gives you a clue that the rule has something to do with 3n, something to do with multiplying the top numbers by 3 to help you get towards the bottom numbers. OK, but if the rule was just that the nth term was 3n, you don't quite get the numbers you want because um, 1 times 3 would give you 3, 2 times 3 would give you 6, 3 times 3 would give you 9. So the rule 3n would give you 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. But actually you want the numbers 5, 8, 11, 14, 17, 20, 23, 26, 29, 32. But you can see that there's just two difference. So all you've got to do is take these numbers from 3n, add 2, and you get the numbers you're trying to get. So 2 um, plus the 3 would give you the 5, 6 plus 2 gives you 8, 9 plus 2 gives you 11, 12 plus 2 gives you 14, and so on. So you need to add 2 to those numbers to get the ones we're trying to get. So the rule is that the nth term is 3n plus 2. So for example, the fifth term would be 3 times 5 plus 2, which would be 15 plus 2, which would be 17. And that's useful because we can now work out the thousandth term. The thousandth term is 3 times 1,000 plus 2, 3n plus 2 in other words, which works out to be 3,002. So here's a question. A sequence goes 16, 20, 24, 28. So I want you to make a table of the first 10 values. Find a general rule for the nth term. And then having done that, find the 7,000th term without having to work out the previous 6,999. So pause the video and have a go at that. So here's the answer. I hope you pause the video. I've made a table of values. Uh, so n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's the position in the sequence. And the nth term is 16, 20, 24, 28, and so on. So every time the position goes up by 1, the term itself is going up by 4. So that gives you a clue that there must be a 4n in the rule. But if we just have the rule 4n, then the pattern goes uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. So 1 times 4 is 4, uh, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 5 is 20, and so on. So 4n gives us a sequence of numbers that goes up by 4 every time. But it's not the right sequence because we're looking for 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. 
But all you've got to do is add 12 to each of these numbers. 4, add 12 gives you 16. 8 plus 12 gives you 20. 12 plus 12 gives you 24. All you've got to do is add 12 to those numbers to get the ones you want. So the rule is actually 4n plus 12. And if we work out 4n plus 12, we, got, we get 4 times 1 plus 12 is 16. 4 times 2 plus 12 is 20. 4 times 3 plus 12 is 24. And so on. We get the numbers we were looking for. So the rule is that the nth term is 4n plus 12. And we can now work out the 7,000th term. 4 times 7,000 plus 12, which is 28,012. And we didn't need to work out the previous 6,999 terms to do that. And, and I actually, we checked it using a spreadsheet. So I made a spreadsheet with um, over 7,000 rows, where I had a, a calculation working out the number um, and adding four to the previous number each time. So a spreadsheet with all 7,000 first numbers worked out, and it did indeed work out to be 28,012. So questions. In a similar way, find the 2016th term of each of these sequences. So the one that starts 3, 9, 15, 21, and then the one that starts 6, 6.2, 6.4, 6 6.6, .6, then the one that starts 100, 98, 96, 94. So the 2016th term of each of those. So pause the video if you haven't done that yet. So the first one. First one, the terms go up by 6 every time. So that gives you a clue that there's a 6n in the rule. But if the rule were 6n, you'd get 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18. So you'd get a sequence of numbers that goes up by 6 every time. But it's the wrong sequence of numbers that goes up by 6 every time, because we're looking for these numbers. And if you compare, you can see that all of these numbers minus 3 give you all of these numbers. So our rule is actually 6n minus 3. So the nth term is 6n minus 3, and then the 2016th term, putting 2016 in for n, works out to be 12,093. Okay, the second one, the numbers go up by 0.2 every time. So that gives you a clue that there must be a 0.2n in the rule. But if you calculate 0.2n, you get 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, 1 1.2, so on. And in order to get the numbers we're actually looking for, 6, 6.2, 6.4, 6.6, and so on, you need to add 5.8 to all the numbers. So the nth term is 0.2n plus 5.8. And then when you work out the 2016th term of that, it comes out to be exactly 409. OK, and then finally, um, on the next sequence, the numbers are actually going down by 2 every time. So the fact that they're going down by 2 every time tells you that there must be a minus 2n in the rule. But if we just calculate minus 2n, then minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. Minus 2 uh, times 2 is minus 4. Minus 2 times 3 is minus 6, and so on. So we get a sequence of numbers that does go down by 2 every time, but it's the wrong sequence of numbers, because we're trying to get 100, 98, 96, 94, and so on. So we need to add 102 to those numbers to get the ones we want. 
So the nth term is minus 2n plus 102. And then if you calculate the 2016th term, that came out to be minus 3930.